what's up? It's Knowledge checking in from Las Vegas every week. I tune in to Hello Okanagan. Hello? Hello? Can you can you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh, man. Hey, what's going on, man? Having some cell phone and Wi-Fi issues? Yeah. Well, I guess it's a good thing we're in the right place for today's tech talk then, eh? Hey everyone, we're down here at Andre's. This episode is called Tech Talk. Why? Because everyone's working out of home, everyone's got their kid at home now, and they're using a ton of electronics. So we figured we'd ask two gentlemen that know everything there is about tech. We're gonna chat here with Darrow regarding smart TVs and everything else that he has with Wi-Fi and such, and then we're gonna visit with Johnny over at the cell counter. Yeah, just to be clear, I'm not the other guy that knows everything about tech. <laughs> I know I look like it because I look like I'm 16, but no, not yeah. the case. Yeah, and he's talking me up quite a bit. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what I can do. So, uh, Darrow, why don't you tell us a little bit about what Andres is, how it came about, and how it started? Yeah, well, I mean, most importantly, we're a local company. And by local, I mean Okanagan, uh, local in the Okanagan, local on the island. When uh, did it start? All the way up north. It started in 76. Andre Sr. was, uh, it was a TV repair shop. Wow. Right? And then 80, Andre Jr., who is still running the company nowadays, uh, took over. And from there, it's, it's blown up to 33 locations I think we have now. Right? Yeah, All over BC. You're saying Northwest Territory and Yukon too, and then BC. Wow. Yep. Wow. Yeah. So he's not stopping anytime soon, even though he likes to say he's going to retire every year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So is, is, that, is that his voice in the, uh, in, in the <laughs> no. commercials? I, I have to ask. No, the that's not his. They're okay. very popular. And, and when, when did that's, that commercial start? That's a good question. I'm not sure. Okay. But. Yeah. Well, we know it by the iconic radio commercial of yeah, the and Andre's voice. Andre's. <laughs> yes, that's right. no, that's yeah. a good job. I was going to say, don't ask me to do it. But. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not you that does it. Though. That's not. No, no, all right. no that's a professional. <laughs> Cool. We cool. pay off for that, but yeah, no, we're growing. It, it, it doesn't seem to stop. He seems to be adding new locations every every few years, and um, awesome. during these times, it's perfect because it's all local people. Like he lives in Kelowna. Nice. Um, the company itself is amazing. I don't think we have anyone through my store that's under three or four years tenure, yeah. and that can be said for almost every single location. Like I've been around for thirteen years. And we've had guys that have been around since, since the get-go. Yeah, yeah. So it's a great organization to work for. We're kind of everywhere now. But uh, the reason we can compete is because we have massive buying power. Perfect. So we're not worried about the, the big box stores. I won't say all their names. But, uh, you know, like you hear it on the radio all the time. We will not be beat on price. Yeah. Right? That's because we have the ability to buy. Yeah in such bulk cool. that we can compete in price. So. so you're a great Okanagan success story and that's what we love. And how yeah. many stores in the Okanagan, just so we know? Oh geez, we got a couple in Vernon, uh, three in Kelowna, a couple in Kamloops, and... Um, all the way down to Penticton? All the way down to Penticton, right? Um, and you're in the island now as well? We're on the island, wow. yeah, Duncan, and Imo, Victoria, Jeez. five locations out there. But all BC though? All BC. Right now? Yeah. All BC. Looking at expanding outside of BC. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Taking over the world? Yeah. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Awesome, my friend. Well, I want to ask you, uh, in the last three months from everything we've been going on in the world, um, electronics is one of the biggest things. It's, it's either liquor, the grocery store, electronics. Yeah. What seems to be the, the thing that people are calling in or coming in to see you about the most? Like, what are they inquiring about? A little bit of everything. I mean, obviously, smart TVs. Right, everyone wants to upgrade their TV because they're spending more time at home. Yeah, and um, smart TVs because everyone's streaming stuff now. Yep. Netflix, YouTube, Disney Plus, the works. Right, so we're talking to a lot of people about that. Um, we got 8K TVs. Even there's 4K. There's okay. regular 1080p. 8K. Wow, 8K. we're gonna get to that actually. We're gonna check out some <laughs> TVs. I'm pretty excited pretty about cool. that. Yeah. But TVs... Um, and what about Wi-Fi? That's the main question I want to talk about. So tell, tell us about Wi-Fi. What should people be doing throughout the Okanagan if they need to up their Wi-Fi? Because everyone's working out of home and the kids are at home and everyone's got a tablet, a phone, a computer or something going on, smart TVs as well. That's sucking up everything. 
Yeah, no, you're right. We get a lot of questions about that, right? With all the streaming going on, everyone's just kind of... So what should people do or look into? Well, I mean, it starts with the service you're getting, right? Um, make sure you get a decent speed, right? If you're going to order internet off um, any of the providers in town, if you got a family of four or five people and all you're doing is streaming 4K videos from Netflix and YouTube all day and you got a couple of <laughs> kids gaming, yeah, don't get the lowest speed possible and expect it to be fast, right? So it really starts with the actual service you're getting from the company. And then it goes into the hardware, right? Uh, people talk about broadband uh, versus yeah. Wi-Fi and yeah. stuff like that. Essentially, it's all the same stuff, right? Broadband is a direct connection okay. right, to one unit or like laptop or tablet or something yeah. like that, right? Wi-Fi is really, it, it's, it allows for multiple devices to be connected wirelessly. So it's not a direct connection, yeah. it's all wireless. Yeah. Yeah. And that's where people run into trouble, right? You might have the Too best internet on the network and then... Broadband, like broadband is coming down, I guess. Well, yeah, I mean, you, you know, where do most people put their internet equipment? Usually it's in mechanical room or a garage or... So there's interference. In, in a room in the farthest corner of the house, but then you got your, maybe some concrete yeah. walls and drywall and insulation in between. So where do you suggest the glass. best place to put your Wi-Fi tower? Well, that's kind of tough because most people don't have an option, right? The services come in on the side of the house and they're going to connect it to an area that's already been set up when the house was built. Was or determined in a Yeah, way. or they got to drill a hole through your house, yeah. you know, and put it in the closest spot. But so, if you get one of those things that you plug in, like little towers or Wi-Fi routers or whatever they're called, um, I'm assuming if you have two levels, you want it upstairs, not downstairs. That's right. Okay. So. The technology on that's gotten way better over the last few years. All right, there's a lot of different options that you can do. Uh, first of all, you can always replace your, your actual router, your Wi-Fi router, with just simply a better one that has better range. Yeah. You know, you've seen it all the time, the ones, some people have ones with five or six different antennas yeah, on it. Yeah, yeah. So just one of those sometimes is good enough to cover some houses, but other times there's some, you know, you want to be able to spread it out a little bit. So the mesh networks, they call it, right? Okay. You can buy a router and then you get multiple little pods or whatever the heck access points you want to call them. yeah right so you add those and a lot of them are wireless now all you got to do is plug and play nice. right um, they'll talk to each other as long as it's within a certain amount of space in between them um, if it's too much space you might need to add extra ones but you know i've seen people with three four maybe even five of these in the house right and what Two. about the like the pods and the boosters and all that too? are they worth looking at if someone's got issues oh 100 percent Okay. Do yeah, you yeah. recommend any that are better than others? Yeah, we well we carry a couple different ones. Um, we would carry the Google Nest, right? Yeah. Router and yeah. access points. Okay. Right, that's one popular one because they're just easy to they're easy to set up. And they communicate with everything, right? Like, and they communicate with everything. It's even got Google Assistant built into every single one of those pods. Oh, yeah. So if you got two or three of those around the house, you can talk to it. Wow. So like, Google, like turn some, my kid's cell like phone some, off. Like some Tony. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Like Pretty Tony, much. It's past bedtime. Tony yeah, yeah. Stark out of Iron Man. <laughs> yeah, oh, I know. yeah, Google turn on the TV, right? <laughs> nice, uh, nice. Google turn off the lights if you have compatible okay. lights and whatnot. So it's all there. And you know what we're seeing a lot of nowadays is because we do a lot of custom home stuff through our store where people will say, hey, Daryl, I'm building a house. Yeah. How do I run? You know, I, I want this TV and I want all this tech. So the first thing I look at them and say, hey, what are you going to do for internet? Because mm -hmm. without a good internet connection. Yeah you're not gonna be able to do all this stuff that you want your smart home to do or whatever it is, right? So uh, we do a lot of hardwired internet connections now, right? Okay. You used to only see it in commercial spaces. Yeah. You know, when you walk around the mall and you see those, those square boxes yeah. in the ceiling and they're all over the place, yeah. right? Those are all hardwired access points, right? Yeah. So we will now pre-wire places and we're talking wow. residential homes. We wow. see it more so now, right? Wow. People will spend the money on, on wiring these access points so okay. you get a nice good hardwired connection sweet and we can place access points in the right areas throughout the house okay. instead of putting that one router in the back corner in the mechanical room yeah. <laughs> right so for the best so. and as far as now people can't come into your stores and they can chat with professionals throughout the okanagan wherever your stores are right now yes all the stores are open yeah okay. well i think all of our stores are open now okay like we've been open the whole time of okay. course with you know taking the responsibility of doing okay. the social distancing yeah, yeah. and all that. But. Well, we're going to chat with Daryl a little bit further, but let's go over to the other side of the store and talk to Johnny regarding brand new cell phones.
Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And like us on Facebook and Instagram for all the extra content. Hey guys, we're here with Johnny now, who is a cellular expert. And I actually saw him earlier today because I needed a new cell phone myself. But before we get into this, there was something you were mentioning earlier to me about something called the hub. Can you explain that to our viewers? Absolutely. It's, it's an opportunity that people that cannot get high-speed internet in rural areas can now get that as long as you get cellular signal. Well, wow. how does that work? Uh, it operates off the cell towers okay. and uh, it will give them up to 25 megabits per second speed. So you can use streaming services like Netflix. Wow. And that's obviously a huge thing for the towns that are around the perimeter. Huge. Uh, we, we introduced this about five or six years ago and uh, with the introduction of 4G, it was amazing for speed. And now they're going to be introducing 5G soon, so it'll be even better. And is 5G anywhere in the Okanagan yet? Uh, in Kelowna, they're doing some test towers right at the moment. Nice. So nice. we're talking 5G the cost of COVID-19, right? <laughs> Not really. That's Are we putting on our tinfoil hats again? <laughs> That's the same one, right? Yeah. Just making sure. Yeah, so let us know a little bit more about what uh, people are asking about when they come and see you. Well, for the most part, they're asking for uh, wireless earbuds so that they can listen to the music, they can use this. This is all waterproof. Uh, so That's what you use in our show when we're doing our is, Zoom yeah, shows, right? This is, the next, this is the next level up, though. I'm not that bougie yet. Yeah, wireless charging wonder. on these guys, so it's great, right? In, uh, in here, yeah. Yeah, nice. Yeah, and a, a wonderful sound on these guys. And we sell these accessories. Uh, another thing that we do is the watches. I notice you have an Apple Watch. Yeah. I've got a Samsung watch. Nice. We do all that and we can add that on so that you, you're not out of pocket cost on these things that are six, seven, eight hundred dollars. That's strange. The old guys have like tech watches and I'm here with, you know, the old fashioned one that actually still tells time. <laughs> Generation Z's got the <laughs> old school phones. I think they still tell time. Yeah, they still tell. They do everything on tell time. <laughs> these are coming back. Like, <laughs> you're bringing it back. Can you actually still read this? Just making sure. Yeah. Barely, man. <laughs> That's why I need a digital background. So what other toys? What, are, what else you know? What else? Well, most of the about? new phones now in the last two years, uh, they, they have the wireless charging capability so that you can actually use a pad like this, put it by your bed stand. I've got four of them lounging around my house. So charge yeah. it like this? Just pop it on there. You and know, I guess the watch at the same time. The next watch time. will charge it as well. Yeah, we have dual chargers so you can do two items at once as well. But while you're charging, you can't use that arm, so you have to just... That's right. right? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Zombie <laughs> duck. Nice. <laughs> And what else? What other new well, cell phones are coming out? They just right? introduced the, the new uh, 20 Ultra 5G. So this is meant for the future. Um, we're anticipating 5G to be rolling out in the next 6 to 12 months here in the, uh, in the Okanagan. And it's going to be wonderful for speeds and for streaming like uh, data services such as Netflix. Be able to watch a 4K movie on your phone. Yeah. Incredible. And what about people visiting you? People can still see all the Andre sell professionals, they can still visit them in the shops or, Absolutely. or if they're in malls or wherever. Yes, and, and the big thing, that the big push that we've done over the last two years, for I've been in the business for 27 years with Andre's, and uh, we've always done business in corporate, but we've really put the push on to let the public know that we can deal with this right now. So if you're, you know, interior health or you work with Tolco, we can get you deals. Nice. Yeah. And you guys were set up. I mean, when I came and saw you, you looked like you were in an aquarium. I mean, yeah. you were my, fully, my penalty box. I full penalty box. Yeah, yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. Oh, cool. So what's the biggest question you're, you've are you been asked in the last few months about a product or something that's coming out in the future or that's out now? Just if we're open. Uh, that oh, wow. they can physically come in and actually uh, purchase a product. Right? And we do have the ability, even if they can't come in the store, we can do it. We can mail it. We can ship it to you. We can do everything over email nowadays. Uh, we Zoom meetings to the customers. And so what, whatever it takes to get that product in your hands, we can do it. And you can take their old product and Absolutely. Cash for that we as do well. trade-ins for them. Yeah. Awesome. Go towards um, items that they need. Awesome. Cool. Cool. Well, well thank awesome. you so much. You guys. Hey, guys. Don't forget to smash a like. And subscribe to our channel for more content. Hey guys, welcome back. We're here with Daryl once again. And now, as you can see behind us with the wall of TVs, everybody, if they don't already have one, need a smart TV, right? That is true. Yeah. And, and what I personally learned, because I have a couple at home, is one is only four years old, but it's so old already that I can't even get Disney Plus on it. Yeah, that's, there's only some that can get Disney Plus, right? Uh, we got Samsung, we got LG, we got Sony. Most of them do already. Uh, nowadays, every TV is smart, but you're right, not every single one of them has the right software to get all of the different apps that people want nowadays, right? Yeah. So, I mean, there's, there's ways around it. And we yeah, got tell, things... tell us about that. You got, a, you got a TV, it still works perfectly fine, you got nice picture quality, you don't want to constantly be upgrading. 
what's a nice little way you can uh, you can still get all the newest apps and everything like that. And Peter can have his Disney Plus. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I mean, for the most part, TVs are smart TVs uh, because they can connect to the internet, yeah. either wirelessly or direct connected. And some of them have their own software. For the ones that, even for people with old TVs, and they want things like Netflix and YouTube and stuff like that, you know, we'll always talk about the new stuff, but if they really just want their old TV, we have products like Apple TV. It's a piece of hardware that connects to Wi-Fi, and then you plug it into your TV, and you get Netflix, you get YouTube, you get the Disney Plus, and all the other apps on there, right? So it streams right to your TV. So when we talk, and do you have, do you have to have a subscription to Apple though for it to work? Nope. Nope. That's it's, Apple TV, is that something completely different now? Or yeah. is that just another app within that box? That's right. Apple has their own platform. If you want to subscribe to their music or, or rent their movies and everything like that, yeah, you got to set up a credit card and pay and them. the same thing with obviously like your Fire Cubes and your Android boxes and yeah, your Chromecast. Exactly. And, right? yeah. Roku is the works. Exactly. Whatever you want, whatever you want to pick to run the, run the stuff. Which one do you suggest is like, one of, or which one seems to be selling the most? Honestly, Apple TVs are probably the most popular. Um, in, in our store, place, right? We, we see a lot of, we deal with cell phones. And a lot of people do have Apple phones. So with the Apple TV box, it allows people to transfer files right from their phone onto their TV wirelessly. Yeah. So if they want to show pictures or videos and stuff, yeah. it just makes it easier. Because okay. Apple doesn't usually like talk to a Samsung or LG or no, anything they, else. They right? say you want to like keep whatever, so like whatever actual, like software, sorry, hardware you use, like you want to keep that across everything. Like if people have Google Homes or whatever, then they want to start using the Chromecast and it all works cohesively, right? That's right. We yeah. just got actually, uh, in my place, we just got the Amazon Fire Cube with the, uh, with the Alexa voice integration. So that one's pretty cool because you can hook it up to actually like tell Alexa to turn on the TV and everything or uh, oh. tell Peter to show. Yeah, <laughs> you can you can turn off your lights. You can turn on your Nest. You can completely everything. Yeah, it's crazy what they can do now. Well, a lot of, the voice is taking over, right? Yeah. Well, a lot of these smart TVs, you can talk right into the remote control. Yeah. Right. It's got the mic built in. And you can ask it to go to Netflix and YouTube and. You can specifically say the show too. You could. And it'll find it on all the different platforms. It can show it on Netflix or on one of the channel regular cable channels or whatever it's on. Yeah, LG. on some of the TVs you can. LG TV, was there a mouse on the space <laughs> SpaceX <laughs> shuttle launch? Yeah. Mouse, was there a mouse? <laughs> all right, so as far as like, with obviously, we, we haven't really touched much on, on COVID, like you guys did do all the security, like obviously the recommendations and everything and to stay open, but uh, were you expecting the, the crazy uptick that we had with sales? Because I mean, everybody I've talked to in the retail industry, as far as like, electronics goes, it, it was almost like Boxing Day and Boxing Week and Black Friday and Cyber Monday, like just all over World again. Into one, yeah. It yeah. was unbelievable. I mean, obviously, like for everyone else, it was pretty uncertain the first couple weeks when it hit. It just went from regular everyday business to, holy crap, there's COVID. Yeah. What now? People weren't coming in the doors because everyone was afraid, of course. But uh, you know what? We continue to stay open. We have a great store to be able to social distance, right? It's not so big that we can't track people who are walking through. Yep. It's just small enough so people can do the two meter distancing. And, uh, you know, we got desks and everything taped off and whatnot, right? So, I mean, we were able to stay open. A lot of other places were closed down. So for me personally, uh, we, when we were slow, I expected it to pick up. I, I kind of had an idea that it would be busy because a lot of places were closed. Yeah. Number one, so and we were open, so where else are people going to go, right? Um, number two, I, you know, when they ban travel restrictions, I know how much money I spend on travel. I mean, I got a family of four, and every time we travel, we're talking, you know, five, six, yeah. seven, oh, yeah. eight thousand dollars. That goes a long way in an electronics store. Yeah. No. Right. So when people are traveling, they want to buy other things. Like, for the most part, they got that money saved away, right? Yeah, you can watch, you can watch your Disneyland vacation on this big screen, right? Yeah. Actually, I mean, they have virtual tours now. You can go to a zoo. You can go to like Disney World. You can even in space. I mean, the space yeah. station and everything. There's these virtual things you can do now on your television. And depending on the quality of the TV, obviously, you've a little bit clearer and better. Yeah. But yeah, between all that and of course, there, right? Everyone was getting well, not everyone, but a bunch of people were getting money, and there were a lot of people who never, like my 16 year old daughter, for instance. You know, she was getting this check from the government uh, and she, she never had that kind of money before. So, of course, 
I asked her to save some, but everything else, we'll spend on what you like, right? So there were a lot of people still spending money. Yeah. And of course, us being a local, you know, the whole local shop, local push, um, we saw the advantages of that, right? Because we are a local company, Yeah. And but we can still provide all the stuff that we're talking about there, yeah. right? We got a lot of product. The one thing I wanted to talk about is when the pandemic happened, um, distribution, manufacturing, everything ceased to a halt. Yeah. All your shops across the Okanagan, and obviously now because you expanded so much around BC, yeah. I'm sure they have a plethora of products still for your customers. Uh, as you guys end up, you always order more than most people. That's right. No, we're, we're honestly one of the better shops for it. There's a lot of places in town where you can, you know, you, first of all, you can't even get into a look at a TV, but if you wanted it, there's not very many places that can say you have it. <laughs> you know, we'll take your money, here you go. A lot of pla places are turning people away because they simply don't have the product. Yeah. We're starting to see that finally with this whole COVID uh, factories overseas being shut down and everything like that, right? That yeah. At first, we we're kind of like, oh, you know, we're still getting stuff. But recently, it's been really tough. Yeah. But um, Andre's as an organization, for instance, recently, we just spent hundreds of thousands of dollars buying TVs from uh, manufacturers that had, uh, like, they, they, they they call it B stock, all right? Because they had damaged boxes. Yeah. The product itself is still good. It was never sold. And it still got warranty. Boxes. And it still has warranty. Yeah. So they and couldn't what, send it out, right? And what qualifies as a damaged box? Like literally a little yeah, you know, taken out of it? Exactly. Or, yeah. A little crumple like we're, we're not talking like tear down the middle. Yeah. We're talking a little bit of damage. Oh, exactly. They, they've been checked out. They're good to go. But it's things like that, right? We were thinking ahead. Yeah. Saying, okay, well, if you can't get us the product that we've already paid, you know, that we've already ordered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you have? Yeah. Give us something because people want this stuff. They're at home. They want to watch stuff. TV. They want to get Netflix in their rooms and maybe upgrade from their 32 inch to a 55, right? right. So, so we're really lucky in a sense that uh, we have, you know, our head office is right on top of that, Amazing. right? So awesome. And this is a this is a reason we wanted to be down here because it's a great Okanagan story, and there's definitely an Andres near you. So make sure you check them out online and pop into some of the stores. Thank you. Thanks, Daryl. All right.